Okay guys, Famous Criminals here. These are called analytics. They show you how many views you get per hour. YouTube froze the views for my top three videos for almost six hours. And my conclusion is that the Matrix is after me. The Matrix is racist against good content creators like myself. Even mentioning the Matrix can get you blacklisted. I might end up in jail. Anyway, it's time to talk about a rapper from Instagram who's barely relevant, but he might become successful one day. Most rappers talking about abusing Xanax, banging dudes, and murdering people, and I'm not complaining. That's just what's going on in the streets, but we have somebody new challenging the norms. All right, we out here representing, look who it is, your favorite ex-boyfriend, right? Yes, sir. Dude, how you feel right now with your video going viral? You got shows coming up. All kinds of shit. You're stepping up. What do you what do you got to say about it? <laughs> yep, yep, I knew it. All right, man, rock and roll, bro. Right on. Your fave ex-boyfriend is this dude's name. This fool is from Aransas County, Texas. And from what I could tell, that's the sticks, middle of nowhere. It's a county, just a county, not a city or a town. That means there's like 10 people per every square mile. He eventually moved to Corpus Christi, where he went to Richard King High School, then Richard Milburn Academy. I'm pretty sure that's an alternative school for troublemakers. Like if you get caught with drugs, they send you to Milburn Academy. This fool has a very flamboyant style, and over time he became more androgynous, he's wearing fishnets, and you might expect me to clown him for having these bisexual tendencies, these dudes who paint their nails and wear fishnets, a lot of times they get hella girls. This rocker style, I don't mind it, in fact I'd rather see this than somebody dress up as a wigger. Now this is his oldest music video I could find, it's 4 years old, let's give him a listen. Kick your trap and we run off with the pack. Oh, that's that boy that be serving all the tracks. If he, if he try and text me and Doozy finna blast. Doozy finna blast, he gon' bust you in your ass. Pretty little goth ho, sucking on my dick. Davey hold a hostage with the motherfucking stick. Hit a lick, hit a lick, we gon' fucking hit a stain. Definitely heavily influenced by the Suicide Boys. That's what him and this other jit were going for. Good effort. It got 20,000 views. But eventually this dude found his niche. And that's the shh. <laughs> So when this came out, people were clowning this dude, making jokes, assuming it's like a parody. This guy started to gain traction from food community pages, and the sh video has almost a million views. But he doesn't just have one sh song, that's like his whole thing. Kind of reminds me of Dale Gribble. It's almost like he has his own style where he's shushing people. It's kind of funny. It reminds me of two things. Ying Yang Twins, the Whisper song. And the idea of whispering songs is not a bad idea. You got people screaming. And I'm sure when Screamo came out, people were confused. Not saying this will catch on. How do I say this? I don't know if there's a lot you could do with the shh. Another unique artist that comes to mind is Scatman. When I first heard Scatman, I thought it was a joke, but now I think it's tight. And to be honest, I appreciate your fave ex-boyfriend's creativity. I like how he's doing something different. Am I bumping his music? No, man. His future is collaborating with Swifty Blue. He checked in with them, and they got a mixtape coming out. So I'm looking forward to giving that a listen. But what do y'all think of this sh guy? I'm out. <clears throat>